I'm going to show you another way to use division using our non-traditional method that we prefer our students to use. Here my problem is 727 divided by 6. We need to think of this as an array. We know we have 6 rows. We do not know our number of columns. But we know that we have 727 inside our box. To help guide me with my problem, I'm going to write my 6's out to the side. Now, I want to get to 727 inside of my box, but the biggest number I have is 60. However, if I add zeros on the end of each of these numbers, this will help get me one step closer. If I look at this now, 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 20 is 120. 6 times 30 is 180, and so on. The closest I see is 600. Well, I know that 6 times 100 is 600. So I'm going to take this 100, because I know I have one, at least 100 columns up here, which gives me 600 inside. However, I have not reached my 727. So if I subtract to figure out how much more I need to go, I will get 127. Now I need to put 127 in the remainder of this box. I see the closest number I can get to is 120. If 6 times 20 is 120, I know I'll have 20 up here and 120 in my box. If I subtract 120 from 127, I have 7 left. I'm not done yet because I still have 7 more to put inside. I can, I'm counting by sixes, so I can fit, I can do one, one times six is six, which gives me one remainder. To determine my answer, I simply add up my number of columns, which is going to be 100 plus 20 plus 1, which is 121, with a remainder of 1.